Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I will be sharing with you how to make this amazing high growth spray for extreme high growth. So it contains only two easy to find ingredients. So I'll definitely suggest that you keep on watching and you watch till the end of the video. So don't miss out on any useful information. Now, thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really do love and appreciate your support. And if you're new here, definitely consider clicking that subscribe button to join the family. I do make natural hair videos, including lots of DIYs to help us grow strong, healthy and long natural hair. So definitely consider hitting that subscribe button to join the family. Also guys, don't forget to hit your notification bell so you know the next time I post a new video. And let's hop right into the video. So the first ingredient we're going to need for this recipe will be my favorite of all times, aloe vera. I just love, love, love aloe vera because of its amazing properties for both our hair and skin. Now aloe vera is full of vitamins that are certainly known to help promote healthy cell growth and also it sort of promotes a healthy scalp. So if you've got things like dandruff, itchy scalp, uh, it's definitely worth adding aloe vera to your hair regimen or using it as often as you as, as you should uh, just because it will certainly help you get rid of those conditions. The good thing about it as well is that it conditions your hair so it makes your hair really nice and soft and we all know the importance of having soft hair because essentially it just means hair that's less like it to break hair that's more manageable the hair that's pretty much just easy to style so dry tangled hair is oh, literally is it's the worst thing ever so aloe vera is definitely amazing um now i've used this for so long that i don't necessarily need to soak mine anymore uh, to use it but if you're allergic to this please go ahead and soak it for about 15 minutes before you use it so you can get rid of all of the uh, impurities from it now for me i just rinsed it off and then uh, essentially I'm ready to use so I just cut the aloe vera in the middle and then scoop the flesh of it out then I'm going ahead here to blend it just so that I can strain later to get the um, aloe vera juice or gel out of it so it's very easy and simple to make now as I always say guys please alter these quantities based on how much of this you're trying to make I usually make enough for a single use but if you happen to make more please freeze it because that will last a bit longer for you. So after I blended it guys I just popped it on my sieve here and I'm just going to allow it to naturally drain uh, just so I can get rid of the fob. And then in the meantime I'm going to prep my next ingredient which will be some cloves. Now I'm using whole dry cloves here but if you've got clove powder it will be absolutely fine as well. Now clove is really good because it stimulates her growth it gets rid of dandruff it fights scalp irritation it controls and stops hair fall and it also basically promotes a healthy scalp and we all know the importance of having a healthy scalp because it just means a good environment for our hair to grow so i added about i would say maybe like about a handful of the cloves here uh, again guys like i always say add more if you want to or less depending on how much you're trying to make so after i've done that guys i'm now going to go ahead and pour in there some hot water so this is just hot water from the kettle now if you want this process to be faster you can definitely put it on the stove and just allow it to boil for a few minutes um but I just like to do mine this way because I feel like I'm retaining most of the uh, nutrients in this. So I'm not really destroying anything. Uh, but yeah, a quicker way would be to pop it on the stove and allow it to boil for a little bit. So I just essentially just let that sit there for a few minutes. I think it was about maybe 45 minutes to an hour. Uh, I was basically just doing my own stuff. And this is what it looks like after it's done. So the alveolar has completely strained. Uh, and also look at this rich brown um what's it called liquid that we've got from the clothes like so rich that's basically what we want so this looks very good just like what i wanted so essentially i'm just going to strain that again into the same uh, bowl in which i have the aloe vera juice um just so i can combine them together now you can use clove um juice or tea 
on its own you don't have to use it with aloe vera but i just love aloe vera and i just felt like the two of them worked so well together and also were a very great combination for faster hair growth so essentially i just mixed that with a spoon just so that everything is nice and combined and then i'm just going to transfer that to my spray bottle yay i got a new spray bottle guys have you noticed <laughs> my previous spray bottle actually stopped working uh, and I had another one that was grey, uh, you couldn't really see the, the, the content of it, so this is actually quite nice because you can get to see uh, the content of my of my tea or whatever it is that I'm using. Um, so yeah, I just popped that in there guys and then I'm ready to, um, to use it. So this is it all done. You can go ahead and add some stuff to this if you want to, so spice it up however you want. You can add essential oils, you can add just normal oil. Um, if you want to but I was really going to use oil uh, to seal the moisture in my hair so I didn't really want to you know have more oil in this so in this part of the video guys I'm just showing you how I'm applying this to my hair and I'm, we're just going to talk a bit more about how to uh, use this to get the most out of it um, so I'm starting here on pretty much clean hair my hair is so clean it feels so good uh, when my hair is clean, it's nice and shiny, uh, really nice and dark, and I just really love that. Um, so yeah, my hair is clean at this point. Uh, somehow detangled, but not like properly detangled. So I'm just going to undo every single section of my hair and essentially just apply the uh, spray. So I'm just going to spray my roots, um, my ends, pretty much make sure that every bit of my hair is covered. Uh, with this now you can also massage your scalp guys as you're doing this because scalp massages are just fantastic at helping with high growth um so yeah you can scalp massage as well in the process if you want to so that's pretty much what i'm doing here just so you can see i love to do it every time i use any type of um, treatment on my hair or maybe like a spray or anything really i love love to massage uh, in between because I just feel like it's a great opportunity to do that um, so yeah okay guys so after I did that I'm pretty much ready to go in with an oil just to seal the moisture in my hair so what I'm using here is actually you now an oil is a butter uh, it's one of my DIY butters I have shared this with you uh, in the past I'm gonna link it somewhere up here for you guys if you haven't seen it um, so I'm just using that essentially just to seal the moisture in my hair I really love this butter because it makes my hair really nice and soft really shiny and yeah it's just not it's just great it's just great i just love it but feel free to use any other thing that you've got it could just be olive oil argan oil coconut oil or what you normally use to seal the moisture in your hair so after i did that guys i'm now ready to detangle my hair so i'm using my detangling brush and also sort of slash scalp massaging brush that i've just recently acquired and i really love this brush i usually tend to use it when my hair is somewhat detangled like when my hair is not that tangled because i find that when my hair is like um really tangled it takes me quite a long time to get through it and i just feel like it's probably not safe to use this but yeah if your hair is not that that detangled this brush is fantastic like it's just um sorry not that tangled yeah it works really 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 great so after i did that guys i'm now ready to just twist and move on to the next section so i'm just going to repeat that until my hair is completely done um so yeah it will probably take me a bit of time to get through this and also if you can imagine me recording this it's going to make the video extremely long so you won't get to see every single i mean how i do every single twist uh, but that's pretty much everything that i did so I repeated that now in terms of how often to use this or how often i would recommend using it or i use it um i use it normally twice a week 
uh, sometimes more if I do remember um, so yeah twice a week is quite a good time to um, to use this so you don't necessarily have to go through this process of detangling your hair you can just point and go that's what I tend to do especially on those busy weeks uh, I haven't really detangled my hair properly in so long I think I've got a video coming up guys where I'll show you what my hair like looked like recently I've just recently properly detangled my hair so um, yeah I just got into this habit of not really detangling it properly and that's not good but what I'm trying to say is um, you don't necessarily have to do this whole process again so just spray and go obviously still carry on with your detangling routine at the end of the week or maybe at the end of two or three weeks just like you would normally do and you don't have to wash it out so just leave it in your hair uh, and then wash your hair as you would normally do at the end of the month if that's what you do or whenever your hair is actually due a wash day so this is not like a conditioner um, type of thing that you put in and then you wash after so it's like a high growth tea that you can leave in your hair so uh, I just thought I would clarify that because I do get asked this question quite a lot whether I should wash it or leave it in. So definitely do leave it in guys because it will help you with the benefits. So if you have watched this video up to this point guys and still haven't given me a thumbs up, what are you waiting for? Please give your girl a thumbs up. It really helps the YouTube algorithm push, push my videos forward and recommend it to more people. So please give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed watching or learned something new. Uh, from this video I will really really appreciate it So essentially that's all I did guys, I like I said before, I just repeated this throughout my hair until everything was completely done. So this is it from me today, thank you so much for watching, if you enjoyed the video like I said earlier, please thumbs up, share with your friend, your family, somebody you believe could learn something from this and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and also hit your notification bell and I'll catch you in my next video. So thank you so much for watching guys. Until next time, bye.